All right, so let's get right into our Jesus story. And as we're counting down the days, we are going to follow Jesus' story. And it's going to be some incredible revelation for you too. Amen. So let's go. Luke chapter 1 verse 29 to 30 states the following. But Mary was very confused. Remember the angel had just appeared to her. The, Mary was very confused about what the angel said. And she wondered, what does this mean? And then the angel said to her, don't be afraid, Mary, because God is very pleased with you. I want to raise this question today. Not even Mary had all the info. It's not like God came to Mary and said, listen, you are going to fall pregnant. And this is going to happen, but it's going to be okay. The angel comes and says, listen, you're pregnant. And you, this is what's happening to you. And he doesn't give her all of the info from the early time. In other words, it wasn't like a week before that she had time to process this. He rocks up and he says, listen, you're going to be pregnant from immediate effect. And this is going to be the consequence. So Mary sits down and goes, how on earth did this just happen? Can you imagine how you must have felt? Okay, if you're put in that situation. And you sit down and the angel rocks up and suddenly says to you, listen, you know, you're going to, uh, you're going to fall pregnant uh, from this moment forth. And it's not by a man. Good luck. She knew that it was no man. But it's okay. And then the angel just says, don't worry about it. God's well pleased with you. What can we learn by this? God does not give you all the info. God does not give you all the info. He is not worried about your comfort zone. Listen very carefully to me. If God is going to use you and you have said, God, I am available like, like Mary, even though she wasn't born again, all right, because you couldn't get born again in the Old Testament, but she did everything that she could do and be godly as godly as she could be. And she believed God for the supernatural in her life. One of the things that happened with Mary is the following. She had to walk by faith just like you and I. And this is what I want us to learn this morning. Just like Mary, God will come and give you things that you were not ready for. Sometimes he will give you a promise that's way too big for you to even comprehend at the time. And God always works of limited information. Listen to me. God always works of limited information. There are many times that I've said, and Janina said it even more than me. God, if I really knew the price of this, I would have reconsidered this. But you never told us what this was going to take, what it was going to take, and what this was going to mean. And so the same happens with Mary. She ends up in a state of shock. The angel says, don't worry. God's well pleased with you. Let me tell you that that, I don't know how much that would have consoled me at that time. If that had happened to me, I can't honestly say that the angel saying, well, God's pleased with you is going to make it easier for me. But I want to say this. When we walk a journey with the Lord Jesus Christ, we have got to learn how to trust Him. We have got to learn that His ways are not our ways. And He has a better thing in store than whatever you could have ever imagined in Jesus' name. And so this morning when we come around the table, let us celebrate just like Mary did. Where she said, listen, she started to get this, this shock out of her system, this major thing. And she started to believe God and trust God. Let me tell you something. God knew that Mary was strong enough to handle this. God knew that Mary could handle this walk and this journey that was going to come. Even at the threat of death of a child. God knew it. Because right at the end, after everything, Mary was one of the only ones standing at the cross. Mary took it from the beginning to the end. She fulfilled everything that God wanted for her. But the things I want to highlight, it's not always easy. It's not always comfortable. 
But God is in control of your life if you allow him to. So this morning when we come around the table, just like Mary had to work through some things that God has for them that you might not want what, what your plan is and God's plan differ. I want to tell you there's been many times in my life where I've had to change. What I've had in mind and what God has are two different things. And so I've been trusting God. I've been believing God. But I've had to adapt in a mighty way. On the night that Jesus betrayed, he took bread and broke it. And he said, this is my body that was broken for you. Take it in remembrance of me. He took the cup. He said, this is my blood that was shed for you. Take it in remembrance of me. The body of Christ was broken for our physical and emotional healing. The blood of Christ was shed for our salvation, protection and provision. And so right now when we come around the table, let us believe God that he will do something supernatural in each one of our lives. Let us believe God that what he says will be done in Jesus' name. Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, I thank you that you paid the price for us. And Lord, that your body was broken for our physical and emotional healing. The blood of Christ was shed for our salvation, protection and provision. But Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Lord, for the covenant this morning. Thank you, Lord, that you love us so much. And that you care for us. And Lord, that you are going to do something supernatural in each one of our lives. And Lord, even when we don't understand things, Lord, that you will step in and do what needs to be done in Jesus' name. And Lord, that you'll bring us to the place that you have created for us. Thank you, Lord, that you'll help us. That you'll help us. Lord, to, to genuinely be like Mary and receive the word that you gave it. Lord, that we will receive what you've called us to do. And we will fulfill what you've called us to do. In Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together. Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, we come before you. We release the dunamis power of God over our physical bodies from the top of our heads to the bottom of our feet. Lord, I thank you. That you love us, that you care for us. But Lord, I thank you right now that you lead us by your spirit in everything that we do. Father, I thank you right now that we are healed by the power of God. Lord, I release the dunamis power of God over our physical bodies and I command every symptom to go in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, that we walk in divine health and divine healing is ours. In the name of Jesus. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. All right, folks, I want to bless you this morning. I want to tell you that it's a glorious, glorious, wonderful, wonderful Saturday morning. Amen. I trust that you're having a wonderful time today and a nice break. And this morning, I want to pray. I want to pray over Israel and I want to pray over our families. I want to remind you that we've got guest speakers tonight at seven o'clock. And then also I want to just say that everybody is ready for this. From the 15th, okay, from the 15th, we are going to go over to our holiday program. We are going to have the Christmas countdown until Christmas. Which I mean, I wanted to say, as I prepared for this, there's a lot of revelation coming in this month. I think you're going to learn a lot. And then from the 15th, we are going to have 15th until Christmas. We are going to have our normal um, uh Christmas countdown where I'm teaching. And then in the evenings, we got guest speakers right through the whole festive season. And then I want you to know that at uh, Christmas Eve, uh, midnight Christmas, I will have a Christmas service. And then Christmas morning, we're going to have communion. And then those who can, I'm telling you early, if you're in the Port Elizabeth area, Christmas morning at 6 a.m., I'm doing a sunrise communion service at Nuatuk Ski Boat Club. Okay, we have quite a lot of people who come out for that. On the beach, sunrise, bring coffee and rusks. That's Christmas morning. Before we get to presents and anything else, we focus on the Lord Jesus Christ. 
And we trust God for the supernatural. Amen. So we're going to do a wonderful sunrise Christmas morning. Um, on Christmas morning at Nuertuk at 6 o'clock. All right. And then Sunday, uh, that Christmas evening, we are going to do carols by candlelight. So please get ready. We're going to have a beautiful uh, thing. And then from the 26th, I start doing with the prophetic words over our nation. Reading them, praying them, declaring them so that we are ready for the new year. Amen. All right. So let's pray. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, we come before you. Lord, we thank you for what you're doing in our lives. And Lord, I pray for Israel right now. And Lord, as the ceasefire has ceased and the bombing has started again, Father, I pray right now that lives will not be lost. Lord, that there will not be any civilian lives lost in Jesus' name. But God, I pray for Israel. I pray for the blessing, the anointing and peace over Israel. And Lord, that you'll lead them, guide them and direct them that this will be quick and efficient in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, that the rest of the hostages will be found and will be released in Jesus' name. And Lord, right now, I pray for our families. I pray for each and every family. Lord, I pray for the destiny, purpose, and plan that you've got for each family member. Lord, I pray for every family member that's not born again. Lord, that you will draw them into the fold in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, that they are saved, that they love you. And Lord, that they will do what you've called them to do in Jesus' name. Father, I pray your blessing and anointing to flow over each and every one in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you that you are going to do something amazing in the families. Lord, that they are going to be strong and solid and they will hold the center core of society in everything that happens. We thank you for your blessing and anointing to flow. And Lord, we love you, we honor you, and we worship you. And we thank you, Lord, for a special, special day. Amen and amen. All right, folks, I trust that you're ready for a wonderful, wonderful Saturday. Amen. That you're going to have a wonderful time resting with friends and family. All right, let's go. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment. I have supernatural increase. I have restoration. I have increased assets. I have great victories. I have recognition. I have prominence. I have petitions granted. I have policies and rules changed. I have battles won that I did not have to fight. All because of the blessing and the favor of God on my life. So saints, go and step out and do what God has called us to do. And remember this, keep those atmospheres open at all costs in Jesus' name. Love you lots.